Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at two Maxpedition wallets. The well-known Spartan model, which has been reviewed many many times, and a more recent model, the CMC wallet. Here in Germany many people have wallets like this old baby of mine. The important feature here is the coin pocket. Many USA-made wallets lack this feature. The reason might be that the lowest paper money value is one dollar, whereas our paper money starts with five euros, which is almost seven US dollars given the current exchange rate. So for any amount under five euros we have to use coins. I've been using the Spartan wallet for more than a year and although I really like this wallet I've always had the problem with not knowing where to put my coins. So I was really looking forward to the CMC wallet. Both wallets are made of 1000 denier nylon, a strong and durable material that Maxpedition uses for almost all their gear. Like any other Maxpedition product, these wallets are made to last. Look at my Spartan wallet. It has been in daily use for over a year and it pretty much looks like it did when it was new. As for the dimensions, there are some minor differences. The CMC wallet is just half an inch shorter on this side. To give you the exact measurements, the CMC wallet is 3.5 inches by 5 inches and the Spartan is 3.5 inches by 5.5 inches. As for the open size, the CMC wallet is 10 inches wide and the Spartan is 1 inch shorter, it's 9 inches wide. Now for the more obvious differences. Let's start with the exterior. The Spartan comes with a mesh pocket on the outside. It's a high strength mesh fabric. This pocket is perfect for ID or business cards and you could use this rubber flap to attach the wallet to a ball chain or lanyard. The CMC wallet comes with a zipper pocket for coins. By the way, this zipper is a heavy duty YKK zipper. This little fold here allows for easy access to your coins. One word of warning though, if you prefer to carry your wallet in the back pocket of your jeans, make sure the zipper doesn't open accidentally when taking the wallet in and out of your pocket. Both wallets come with a velcro closure. As you can already hear, this is definitely heavy duty velcro. The front flap of the CMC wallet is twice as large as the flap of the Spartan, which allows for a larger velcro field on the inside. This large velcro area might come in useful if your wallet is tightly packed and bulges. In this case, the flap still closes nicely. By the way, Maxpedition didn't only change the size of this velcro area, they also changed the placement of the hook and loop fields. On the Spartan, the hook field is here and the loop field is here. On the CMC wallet, it's the other way around. Loops here, hooks here. Now let's take a closer look inside. Both wallets offer a lot of storage space, but the organization of the pockets inside each wallet is quite different. Let's start with the Spartan. First, there are six pockets or slots for your various cards. There are three slots on the left and three on the right. This is a special see-through design. Each of the slots is made of the same semi-transparent mesh fabric as the pocket on the outside. Behind these slots are three more pockets, one on the left, 
one on the right. Plus there is this extra long pocket which goes all the way through. So there is plenty of room for your ID cards, business cards, membership cards, discount cards, driver's license, whatever you got. What I really like about this wallet are these two Velcro tabs which secure the cards you put in here. This Velcro strap on the left doesn't only cover these mesh pockets but also another compartment behind them. You could use this for receipts, traveler's checks or maybe you want to use it for a foreign currency. Behind this compartment is your standard money pocket. The divider between these two is also mesh so you can see through and see what's in the other compartment. Now for the new CMC wallet. There are three card slots on the left. Their orientation is vertical though. Quite frankly what I don't like about this design is this. You see there is very little friction. To be fair I have to say it gets better once you put more cards in here. Now there is more friction or tension and the cards do not fall out that easily. But nonetheless I think Maxpedition should have added a velcro strap here, similar to the Spartan wallet. I mean you usually do not shake your wallet like this, but maybe you accidentally drop the open wallet and your credit cards are all over the floor. On the right side there is a zipper pocket and three elastic mini pockets. They are meant to be used for memory cards. By the way CMC stands for change and memory cards. I'm not sure if this is a useful feature. This whole area can be bent and a memory card could potentially be damaged. I prefer to keep my memory cards in a small solid case like this. But maybe you can find some other use for these elastic pockets. The additional zipper pocket is nice. You can keep small keys in here or maybe even a small knife like the Victorinox Classic. But you should always turn the wallet in this direction before you open the zipper, otherwise gravity takes over. Similar to the Spartan wallet, there are two additional pockets behind the slots and behind the zipper pocket. Now for the money compartment. I prefer this design over the Spartan wallet because you can open this pocket really wide to find things in it. This compartment is also divided. Here is a second pocket that is separated from the main pocket. I wish Maxpedition had used the same mesh fabric for this divider as on the Spartan wallet. With this opaque nylon you have to guess what's in here. This happens to be my ID card. Overall the CMC wallet suits my needs better than the Spartan, mainly because of the coin pocket. Here is my bottom line. Both wallets are made to last. Both have a plethora of pockets and you can't go wrong with either of them. If you prefer to keep your bills and coins in one place, go for the CMC wallet. My personal dream wallet would be a mixture of both designs. If the CMC wallet had a mesh divider here and a horizontal organization of the credit card slots or at least a velcro strap to hold the cards down, that would be my perfect wallet. 
I hope you enjoyed my review of these two Maxpedition wallets. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.